In the last video, I talked about fish wall low well theorem and I talked about partialing out the effect of x1 from x2. So essentially, what we were doing in the previous video was we were partialing out the effect of x1 from x2. Now the question is, what happens if we omit this variable x2 from our regression model? So essentially what we can do is we can regress this model in two ways. The first way is we can regress y variable on x1 and x2. We can fit this model and get the fitted values beta 0 hat plus beta 1 hat x1 plus beta 2 hat x2. So that is the first way of doing this. So let's assume instead of doing that we regress this model beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus epsilon and then we get the fitted values beta 0 tilde plus beta 1 tilde x1. I call these estimated coefficients beta 0 tilde because this is a different model than this beta hat. The question is under what conditions beta 1 tilde will be equal to beta 1 hat. Right? So we are essentially interested in the effect of x1 on y. The estimated value of beta 1 will tell you the effect of x1 on y and we are getting the same effect here but our two models are different. So under what conditions these two models will be equal. We can represent this relationship as beta 1 tilde will be equal to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat delta 1. So these are the conditions under which beta 1 tilde will be equal to beta 1 hat. And these two conditions are if beta 2 hat is 0 or gamma hat tilde is 0. Essentially if beta 2 is 0 this whole term will vanish and beta 1 hat will be equal to beta 1 tilde. Similarly if delta 1 is 0 this whole term will vanish and beta 1 tilde will be equal to beta 1 hat. So what are these two coefficients are representing? So beta 2 hat essentially it is the effect of x2 on y. If x2 is not affecting y variable then these two models are identical, right? So if x2 is uncorrelated with our dependent variable y then these two models are identical and we may not need to include x2 in our model. So that's the first condition A and B if x1 and x2 are uncorrelated that is x1 equals delta 0 plus delta 1 x2 if we run this model and this term is 0 the estimated value of gamma 1 is 0 it means x2 is not having any impact on x1 those are uncorrelated. So if this is the case then this model will give us the same parameter beta 1 as this model, right? So there are two conditions under which we must include other x variables in the model. The first is that those other variables must directly be correlated with y variable. They must be having some impact on our dependent variable. And the other condition is they must be correlated with our variable of interest on the right hand side. So if those x variables are either uncorrelated with y or uncorrelated with our variable of interest, we are probably better off running this parsimonious simple model rather than this complicated model. So we're going to keep talking about this when we talk about the omitted variable bias. But this is the intuition of including other x variables in the model. In the next video, I'm going to show you an example of a model like this in R. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.